Hi guys, it's Rhonda, and I have another um, project that I'm working on. This one is for Sage, and call me crazy, but I am going to attempt to make that hot air balloon. And I have got a, um, <laughs> from our post office, the um, priority mailing box, and the measurements on this are seven and a half um, by actually 20 but once the flaps are fold it becomes 14 inches and I have just cut this in half I'm going to use this as the basket for Sage to stand in so that's what I'm working on right now and I'll be right back alright now that I've cut this in half it was tall I've cut this in half I've cut one side of the bigger side off I'm going to do that to the other one so that I can join the two together and make a large enough square for the basket for her to sit in. Okay, so I'm back. Um, just a quick side note before I continue. I actually, when I cut those boxes in half, they were not tall enough. They came to about her hip and I was afraid she would fall out. So what I did is I just cut them two-thirds high. And then what I'm going to do is just make the, the um, the little dip to uh, scoop out the top part. But this is what it looks like with the box um, assembled and for her basket. So that's what we have so far. Okay, so here's what I've got so far. I put the box, the two um, boxes together. I hot glued then I reinforce the bottom on the inside and the outside so they're both smooth and it, it sits level and so does Sage when she's inside and then um, the scoop that's here I didn't have any all of my dishware is square so I ended up using um, a pie tin so if you guys have um, something like that if you don't have round dishes Anyway, I just traced into um, a, a little scoop design on all sides. This one I used a smaller um, plate, a uh, dessert plate that I actually happen to have. So um, you can see you just go ahead and, and leave a little bit here so that the poles can attach. But just scoop it down a little bit and she's good to go. Hi guys, I'm back and um, first of all, I apologize because Bosley is outside barking his head off and he was barking in here so I, I put him outside and it doesn't matter what I do, you can still hear him. So anyway, try to ignore Bosley. So <coughs> what I did to, to the box is, um, because it, it is a box and it's not a basket, is I just tried to texture, give it some texture, and you could certainly use um, like burlap, or if you could find some sort of um, like contact paper or um, wrapping paper, craft paper, whatever that looks like basket weave. Um, here I just it's kind of goofy looking, but it's burlap scrapbook paper. And so it just gave like a textured look, and I just went ahead and used it. Um, and, and as you see, it's just it's completely covered. And then here is the giant uh, foam board that I cut into a. It's like a light bulb. I would suggest cutting just a ginormous light bulb with as much of the foam board as you can that is pretty much what you see in the very center is the width so I just kind of curved around um, to give it its shape but this is a very large um, it needs to be very large so um, this is it this is the um, paper board foam board version um, you could certainly paint the balloon or you could use a rainbow wrapping paper or um, poster board, get maybe the primary colors and some in purple and just do strips and kind of uh, glue them onto the foam board to create that rainbow design. 
But um, I'm not going to go ahead and do that because I'm just showing this uh, for another option because, um, you know, there are different people, uh, different ages, different skill level, and whatever they feel comfortable doing. So here is one option, um, using the box and attaching it with glue and cardboard reinforcements in the back. It's best if you do it in the back so that she can get in from the front. And then here is just her large balloon and color it however you wish. So um, that is end of option one and I will show you option two next. Okay guys, I'm back with option two. And I got these three paper lanterns from Party City. Um, they are nine and a half inches in diameter and they come three in a pack and I think I paid somewhere around six or seven dollars and they come with the uh, wire insert to keep them inflated and they also come with thin strips of wire so that you can hang them um, from either you know a hook in the ceiling or a, a bookshelf you know a hook from somewhere in your closet uh, anyway I thought this would be a great idea for mini dolls a lot of you have the AG minis. I do not, um, and I know they don't make sage, but the historical uh, AG minis, you know, deserve a, a fun hot air balloon ride too, I think. So this is uh, perfect for uh, mini dolls or like a, an 11 inch doll, like Barbie or Bratz, Monster High, something like that, or even rag dolls. You have plush bears or stuffies or anything that's going to be um, 12 inches probably you know AG mini size on up to 12 inches and you could make a little box for them maybe out of a Kleenex box you could certainly buy um, you know a box from any store that that sells them and um, you could have a, a basket would be easy to find for this size and once it's inflated, it has all these different, you know, yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, turquoise, green, and lime. And it's, it's pretty much the same colors that um, is on Sage's Hot Air Balloon. So here is a doll that's a little bit larger than 11 inches, but I'm used to using her as a model to show you. So if you have your doll inside a box or a basket, and you put the balloon above her you can see I'll try to back up you whoop, you can see how that would definitely work and my I'm probably really loud because I'm right by the microphone but you can see okay different colors so you could actually hang this and with a lightweight basket or um, Kleenex box just hang it um, like in the corners and have it going up to the actual uh, lantern and then hang your lantern from a hook so it would be floating unless of course you wanted to just display it then um, maybe you could use a dowel or like a I don't know have somebody your parents um, cut like a broomstick or something um, Something well, it's probably too thick, but like just some sort of a dowel that could um, hold it all together, and um, I just think it's a really cute idea, just because it's it's perfect color. These these come in solids, these come in white, every color in the rainbow, haha, -ha. and then of course um, rainbow print. So these are really cute and perfect for AG minis and other dolls. So that is option two and I will come back with my last option.